In today's video, we are going to solve one more freelancing job. And this job is very simple. You have to go to the site, look for a word, whether this combination is available or not. And you have to look for the next word, whether that combination is available or not. And you have to do this for almost thousand words, which are supplied in one Excel sheet. So let's open developer tools, go to network and let's search for something and see what happens. Okay. So initially we search for admin. So let's click on check availability. Obviously the result is going to be in the XHR. So it says that the success is false. That means it is not available look at the headers. And I see that this is a get request. So I'll just right click and open this in new tab. And that's it. So we don't need anything else. So I usually play around with removing the query string parameter. I removed it and it's still working. So let's uh, do the test here, right here. So what if I say recode? So success is true. That means it is available. Okay. So this is how this site is working. So let's uh, generate a spider scrappy. Let's call it plates. And then the fourth parameter is start URL. I'm just putting a X here. So I'm going to take this URL and copy into my code, giving it a name. Let's call it URL. And instead of this search phrase towards the end, I'm just putting curly braces. We don't need allow domain and start URL because we are going to work with start request method. So define start request. So what we are going to do here is we are going to read the CSV file. So the CSV file, which actually contains the input is this. So basically just in column A, we have this column word, which contains all the words. So what we want to do is in the start request, we want to open up the CSV and generate request for all these words. So to open the CSV, we can use either CSV module or just because I have liberty to use pandas, I'm going to use pandas. It's actually a little bit easier. All you have to do is pd dot read CSV and give the path. And this file is called input.csv and you get a data frame. And if you take from data frame the column name, so let's open the CSV file here. And this column name is called word. So I'm actually going to copy this exactly as it is. And if I just called to list, it will convert it into a list. I can run a loop over it. So for word in this list, now what we can do is we can construct our URL. So for constructing the URL, all we have to do is call URL and format and then pass in this word. Next step, what we have to do, we have to create one scrappy dot request. So I'm just putting in here, the default callback method is parse. And lastly, we need yield. So that's all the code that we need. So we are reading CSV file using pandas. We are converting this word column into a list so that we can run a proper loop. And we are simply yielding a request which contains the URL. Now in the parse method, what we have to do? So this response, if we look at it, it is a JSON response. In the newer version of Scrappy, you already have a method called response.json. So this method will give you JSON directly. So this is your data. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to look for this key success data. I'm calling dot get store it in a variable. Now we can simply return the result of available. But what about that word? So we need that word as well in the output file, right? So let me write this available. So available will be yes, if success else, it is going to be no. So this was simple. Now we also need to get the word. So word we have it from here. So we can supply this word in the request itself. So we can send this word when we are creating the request. The most recommended one and the best one is to use a CB keyword arguments. It's going to be a dictionary with a key name. So in this case, I'm just saying a word and the actual value is word variable. So if it is confusing, let's call this lookup. So this lookup, you have to add it as a new parameter here. And now you have lookup available, right? So you can create a new key and send this word as well. And as per the format required by the client, this key name has to be word. So I'm calling it word here. 
I'm sending the output to let's say plates.csv and let it run and I think it should run very quickly because we have only 80 or so records. And as you can see here that in 13 seconds it went through all those requests and we have the result. So let's look at the result and there we have it. Very quickly we got the result. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.